Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of the Bunny of Isaac Afterbirth of your Australia Slow Wolf. Alright, last time we got stupid lucky with the Keeper. Knocked off not one, not two, but four different post-its in one go. Uh, today we're going to try to do the Lost. We're going to head downstairs and we're going to see if we can't do anything else. We also have the Holy Mantle. So we actually have a chance of doing this. And uh, considering today's incredibly dumb luck, uh, I'm expecting that we'll be able to do something useful. Now, I... Uh, <laughs> Willingly playing the Lost here is just because I need to... Wow, that was bad. I'm actually really tempted to just leave. But I'm not going to. I think we can beat this room without needing to uh, panic. Good. Um, as I was saying, it's not impossible. And it's only because I need to get some post-it notes stuff done. But it is certainly very doable. It is not a, as difficult a character as it used to be. And I actually have a really decent track record with this guy. Um, I was doing dailies a while back when I was still doing, you know, Binding of Isaac stuff. I was, I was streaming a lot more um, back then. And I was kind of like unaware of how bad my streaming situation was and how... Un and it was causing a lot of rage. Point is, I was playing a lot more Binding of Isaac and I would do the dailies and I would stream those dailies. And, um, you know, it, it, was, it was fun. It was okay. There was one time that I got in the top 100 with the Lost. Because the Lost is one of those characters that's like, you know what? If you've got enough player skill and enough luck, it can do some beautiful things for you. Now, this currently is the world's easiest room. I don't know why everyone panics with this room. Um, if they can fly. Like, it just, it makes no sense to me. The, you could just, the, the, the red fires take so long to wind up, you know? But hey, you know what? I, I probably have not been killed by them yet, so... I wouldn't know how dangerous they are because I'm like a I'm like a small baby. Look at me. Wah. I have no idea how this game works. Wah. What's dangerous? I don't know. Let me eat this incredibly dangerous plant because I don't know what life is. Wah. That, that, that's pretty much me with the Lost right now. I just, I don't understand uh, what's dangerous yet. Oh, God. What's dangerous yet? What's not? Let's not do that yet. Okay. Now let's go in. And we got Degas. Uh, effectively, it's useless right now. But it could be helpful in the future if I need to go ahead and wipe a curse off the screen. For instance, a curse of the blind, which could pop up on the next floor, and which would, I don't know, stop us from taking a shitty deal with the devil item? Okay, here we go. This is an item I can work with. This D20 could allow us to do some really neat stuff if we're using it properly. And this might be one of the rooms where we want to use it. Or try using it because the red heart is useless to us, and a one one penny does not two pennies does not a crazy deal make. So let's go ahead and try this out. We got a bomb. The red heart turned into another red heart, which is super helpful, and a pill. Um, pill can't kill us. Tears down wood. It's amnesia. Okay, well we don't really care about amnesia, so we'll just leave. Uh, and I bet you this is my secret room. It's it's positioned in such a way that it almost has to be. Okay, good. So we got two nickels potentially out of this. I would like to try for them both. Maybe. Yeah, okay, got one. That's still good. It's nine cents for the next floor. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, boss fight time. Don't get hit by that. That would be bad. It also doesn't really give us much um, either. So, Okay, famine. Okay, famine's okay. We got a reasonable tier rate. Triple shot. The lack of triple shot from the keeper is... Uh, yeah, a, a noticeable power difference-ish, but, like, honestly, we're in a... Fuck off. Really? Did that just happen? Did we just get shot by one of the flies? Look, do not get hit again. The, you've you've beaten Famine before without getting hit once, and then you get hit by a fly? Okay, just play it cool, man. Just play it cool. Don't get hit again. When he gets too close with his stupid chargey bullshit... Come on. Chargey bullshit, please. Thank you. Don't shoot him, because you might knock him into you. And that might be bad. It might be. It means it is. Because getting shot means you die at this point. Because you got hit earlier because of a fucking fly of all things. Good use of a rock there, by the way. Whoa! Okay. Good use of a rock there. To effectively... Whoa! Good stuff. Okay. Deal with that shit. And okay. Ball bandages. It's not... Okay, it is what we were going to get regardless. But it's not what we need. I mean, it's useful if you want to play aggressive. But... Playing aggressive is really dangerous for us. Alright, and here we find Gimpy and a bunch of spiders. You know, those... The Gimpy is actually useless. Um, 100% useless. I'm not thrilled that it exists. I would have vastly preferred Nine Lives, Guppy's Collar, you know, something along those lines. But, 
there is one upside to this. If we can make Gimpy really pop off, give us a ton of red hearts off of, um, you know, killing stuff from Gimpy, uh, from, from killing stuff, then you know what? We do have access to the D20. Like, there, there are options for us. Oh my fuck. Why am I so bad at this? Why am I so bad? Okay, like, don't get hit again. It's not like anything here is gonna be difficult from here on out. It's just a bunch of people with bombs on them. Also, no red hearts drop you on the ground. You're making a fool of me, game. All I wanted was for you to prove me correct. So I can reroll that stuff. Okay, that's actually useless for us. We'll we'll leave that on the ground for now. There's gotta be better reroll targets in the future. Okay, use this. And you know what? Playing carefully and wisely here is not a bad move at all. Like you have easy access to some some rocks. Might as well abuse the shit out of them. There's no sense. In playing like a dumbass. Against these guys, play unfair. Okay, matchstick, reasonable. Uh, not a small rock, unfortunately. It's just a key. And a useless spirit heart. Let's go over to the right. And we got, okay. We've got dips. Dips, 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 dips. More dips than a body needs. More dips than a body has room for. Which is probably why this is all diarrhea. Um, okay, let's, let's stop saying um for one. Just because you ran out of something and you want to hide your shit punchline doesn't mean you get to say um. Um is a bad word. There are a lot of words like um. Space makers, my dad would call them, that are relatively... Oh, why did I pick up the money? Um, th that are relatively kind of useless. Um, like, er, er, like those, those kinds of words. Oh, shit. Well, we didn't die. That's good. All those words tend to take up space, so that's about it, right? Oh my god, reroll that. Yeah, that's that's a little better. Bomb and a key for a bomb and a key. That's the, 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 the rerolled into perfect evenness. But space makers like that tend to be fairly useless and overall a waste of everybody's time. It's not really worth it. Is what I'm getting at. Okay, this is interesting. And this is actually worth using a bomb for. Because I would like to see if we can't uh, make this last run work for us a little here. Okay. I want Diplopia. That's 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 obviously what's on the list of things to do next. So we're going to take the Diplopia with us. The other option here is taking up Blue Candle. Which we can now get with Diplopia if we absolutely need it. But let's see how this uh, boss goes first, huh? Okay, literally everything about this boss fight room currently sucks. Please kill the poops, thank you. Kill the other fly-based poop. Now keep your eye on Dingle, because Dingle likes to spit bloody, bloody tears. Not to be confused with the epic piece of, fuck me, epic piece of music from the Castlevania soundtrack from 1990, whenever it was invented. When was Castlevania invented with bloody tears, the soundtrack? Okay, good little bit of damage there with ball bandages. Unwise. Let's just start off with that. Very unwise. This is like not the time to be playing unwisely. Do not choose poorly is all I gotta say there. There are so many dips. It's only gonna take one. No! Or just one shot. I mean, take your pick. We dodged so many. That last one's the one that killed us. I am disappointed. Okay, let's try another run here. We're going to keep doing lost runs up until we get to the 15 minute mark. Uh, and if we die after that, then, you know, we die after that. We were doing so well, too. Oh, wait, we got a, we got a Holy Mantle, right? Right, so what do I care? Oh, shit. That's why I care. We almost killed ourselves off of that Tinted Rock. That would have sucked. I'm too lazy to walk around. Thank you. All right, what are we find here? Eh, it's not so good. But, you know, we can see through doors. So long as we got a map, we can do stuff. We also look kind of adorable. Oh, okay, yep, we got hit by a fatty. That's 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 good play right there. You know, as things stand right now, Holy Mantle is a great like item to kind of keep us in the game. But the thing that would really keep us in the game would be something like nine lives or something else. You know what I should have done? As I saw that bullet come towards me, I should have re-rolled. You know. No balls. I didn't even re-roll when my end was nigh. I could have I could have turned into Dark Judas and completely turned that run into something else different. You know, a fun run. Instead, here I am with the lost. Again. 
And uh, I have no balls because I didn't even reroll the one time that I could have. Okay, let's just dodge through that. Through the fire and the flames. Okay. So this is probably one of the best asks we could have had for a boss. Monstro is relatively simple. Doesn't do very much. Isn't too hard to deal with. He's one of the first bosses that everybody plays against. You know? Oh, fuck. We got hit. Don't get hit again. Thank you. So if this were a keeper run, we would have already lost it. Just an FYI. And he's dead. Okay, good stuff. Yay, we did it. We haven't seen a deal with the devil yet, have we? No? No? Okay. Well, we're down. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Oh, right. It's because you suck. Okay. Here's our curse room. Curse room has fire. Okay, just shoot the fire then. Take your time with it. Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't play like garbage either, but it's not like you've, you know, you have a choice in that. You are kind of garbage, so. Um, what's the other one here? Awas. Let's pop the Awas, see what happens. It's not useful. Alright, we walk out with two diamonds. Every cent we get from here on out is two. So that's worth it. Oh shit. That blew up. Did it blow up enough to... Yeah. So the spikes are going to go ahead and start being annoying in there. But we're not going to be around to see that day. Oh, shit. Might be a good idea to deal with these fires while we got the chance as well. Okay, head on downstairs. Reds, run. And Mystery Sack. You know, Mystery Sack did uh, did us a nice one in the in the last Keeper run we had. So I don't see why I shouldn't do that again. Get out of here. Good stuff. And head on out. Alright, so... Right now, this run's fine. We got Jesus Juice, which is... It, it is a damage up, so I can't really complain. Um, and we do know how to play. It's just... I'm still kind of coming over the Isaac Hangover that lasted for several months. And I'm bad at this game. So forgive me, I suppose. Uh, in our red chest, we find spiders. Helpful. Uh, we could go to our shop. and In fact, it would be recommended that we try it. Because having a little bit of extra damage or just any other item here, more or less, would be very helpful. Okay, take this guy out from a distance. Jesus Juice has got to be useful for a reason, right? It's not that we picked up Jesus Juice for fun and uh, for laughs. We picked up Jesus Juice to give us range and damage, friends. Okay. I can't play any of those. Uh, still looking for a key. Well, it's this room again. Might as well put my money where my mouth is. Do 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 do. Yay, look at us, we didn't panic. Ergo, we were fine. Okay, shop is upstairs somewhere. There it is. Okay, beautiful. Let's not get hit twice on this room. It is possible uh, with that dude who is now dead, who was chasing us. But now that he's not chasing us, because he's dead, I don't I don't see that as being a problem any longer. And here we find... Nice. I'll, I'll take both. I would like both please I mean, please I would like both thank you all right so that gives us stopwatch and sack boy if sack watch works if sack watch if stop whoop I'm an idiot if stopwatch works the way that I hope it does it's gonna be really really good for us um oof, you must be the secret room entrance yeah there you are uh two buttons flies and it does work the way I, I, I assumed by the way, I'm annoyed that I didn't use two diamonds all of a sudden. But you know what? We'll save it for later. You know? For when we really need it. Just run this way. Perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and deal with this boss fight now. Um, it's not like we got like a big get out of our item room. Uh, Mr. Sack was not very good. And our shop is fine. But like... Our shop only does so much. You know? I, I realize now that I said earlier, oh, we should go to our uh, item room at least to see where uh, the boss fight is and all that stuff. Well, did I say that before or after we came to this floor? And with that in mind, did I say that before or after we picked up Mystery Sack? Shit. Keep your eye on him. Yep, yep that's exactly why you keep your eye on him. Shit. Just kill him. Fast, 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 fast. There we go. Krampus's head. We'll take it. Over the D4 for now. Um, 
And honestly, I'm only taking it over the D4 because... I don't know. I mean, the D4 is not good so long as we have Holy Mantle. It's only good if we, like, see nine lives and, or something else that's better for survivability, and then we're like, we want to win this run. Then we roll into something that's maybe better if we don't ha already have, like, the world's best run. Um, we need the consumables, actually. Battery? No, keys. Okay. This is fine. This is okay. I mean, as far as last runs go, this could be, fuck me, a lot worse. Especially if I keep getting hit by stupid shit like that. Okay, take out the, the worms. This should be easy. At this point, broken stopwatch is making things easy for us. It was a worthwhile investment. Let's put it that way. Two of diamonds or no two of diamonds. The sun, effectively, is just to show us where everything is, huh? Should have used it earlier now that I think about it. Alright, downstairs is our item room. So we're going to go ahead and do that first, because item rooms are pretty sweet. I like item rooms. Item rooms are awesome. We also did get the consumables that we wanted out of that room. So we went in there. We got what we came for. We walked out. That's called being a... Uh, it's called being very strong about what you want in life. You know? It's called a... Uh... We got a lot more bombs than we do keys right now, so... Oh, shit. That was... That's the button. There, I did it. Uh, that's called just knowing what you want in life, and that's that's an important skill to have. If you don't know what you want, then what are you doing with your life? World's second most useless item room, I think. Let's not necessarily go through there. It seems like a waste of time. Uh, we do have a mini boss off to the left. It might be worth exploring, just because we have access to Crampo's head and Sackboy, which effectively means Crampo's head every damn room if we so please. Um, yep, I actually appreciate the spin that time. That was nice. Made things a lot easier. Oh, apparently somebody liked the video I made. Thank you. Thank you, Pekino. I appreciate it. Pride. Pride is now dead. Pride gave us the world. I can give you the world. It's sort of an okay card. But most of the time it's not so good. Because there's other ones that do the same thing. A whole new... Okay, I'm done. Um... Judgment, huh? It's not even one we can use. Blow it up. It's dead now. We already know what's inside the item room. Uh, the chariot or two of diamonds. I think... I think we pop two of diamonds to keep the chariot on us, just in case. It's a better panic button. And I like panic buttons. Panic buttons are important to have. Uh, plus, it, like, the two of diamonds, although it didn't do as much as it could have done on the last floor, like, that was obviously a misplay. Um, it's, it, it got us back up to 15 cents, so I'm not going to be too sad about it. Okay, Krampus' head needs a battery charge. Give me a sack, baby. No? Okay. PhD. PhD is good. PhD plus placebo. PhD plus placebo, it would be good under some circumstances, not all. Um, in this case, I'm happy to say that we got puberty. Worth it. Uh, let's donate back to our machine a little. Okay, just a little bit then. Didn't need it more than one, two coins anyway. Okay, take care of this garbage. This riffraff need not exist. And I have to be honest, we actually have a reasonable start. I'm just playing really badly because I'm bad at this game. Retrovision, helpful. I appreciate it, but I'm going to say no. Uh, in here, we find three sacks. Three super sacks, two stone chests, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my eyes it my mommy gave to me. Bob's rotten head, one super troll bomb. Many other normal bombs. And a bob's head from a stone chest. We'll pick it up for, like, the bob transformation, which doesn't do much. I'm getting the feeling. Uh, and we also have a fully charged, ready-to-go Krampus' head. Plus a room that allows us to use it over and over and over and over again. So let's go ahead and grab another battery, because it's really easy to do. Bam. Okay. Now, am I going to kick myself in the face for not... Wah! Picking up placebo when we have the chance? Maybe. It kind of depends. In this case, I think not. I think we're okay here. This is an excellent deal with the devil. We'll take it. I don't need Mega Satan that badly. Uh, we're not on the, we don't already... What I'm trying to get at is here. We don't already have a run where we can't just... Where, where we can kind of go, you know what? I can see Mega Satan in the cards for us. You know, this is currently a run where I'm like, I, I don't 
Like, with all of this that we've got going for us, I'd rather take a deal with the devil. Thanks. And the deal with the devil has paid off in dividends. We have a ton of extra damage now. Now we can start looking for more interesting tier effects. Because our damage is probably just fine. Uh, it could be stronger, though. I don't mind more damage, if you don't mind giving it to me. Troll bomb! See how I don't care about the troll bomb? See how the wolf does not care about the troll bomb. See how the wolf gets shot by the spider. The spider is strong, and the spider knows this. He applies his advantage, but then dies. As the ghost shoots him full of bloody tears. Okay, let's get out of here. Hmm. If this is a black market, this could be huge. It's not. What we get instead? Little Gertie and a ghostling. I'll, I'll... I'll... I mean, I'll take the little Gertie. I'm not gonna say no. But at the same time... Really? I was re... I mean, it's better than nothing. It's way better than nothing. That could have been nothing. And that would have been worse as a result. But at the same time... I would have been just as happy with, you know... Not little Gertie. Oh, yeah, the Hierophant... Woo! Let me just pop that immediately and- Oh, look at all those spirit arts I don't have! Pillars. Infested. Might as well. Uh, drop this here. I'm looking for Mega Mush. Let's, let's, let's keep it real here. Is that Retrovision? Yeah, it's Retrovision. I recognize that orange pill almost anywhere. Wait a fucking tick. Oh, this is a reroll room up ahead. I can't take it. But it's a dice room, so I gotta try it, right? Turn my nickel into a sack. Okay, three room. Rerolls consumables, if I remember correctly. So we're gonna just hit the hit the sacks. Double check the cards, that kind of stuff. Okay, we're not gonna want a brown card. So let's check this two of spades. I'll pop it, that's fine. Alright, we roll it. What do we get this time? Bunch of sacks, another chest. Wheel of fortune, tons of keys. This is okay. We're 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 good. We're rich. We're fine. Another chariot card, it's exactly what I wanted. A luck up, it's great justice. Might as well pop it. It's not going to do anything else otherwise. Yeah, okay. We're rich. We have any cards that we really want. The moon. The of fortune and the chariot. Um, I think we take the moon. Because we're getting actually relatively not too far off of a, a you know potential boss rush. And although I actually do need to beat boss rush. Actually, you know, I think about it. Uh, do we have the items for it? No. But if we don't get the items for it, then I'd like to teleport out of it. Because boss rush would be pretty sweet. Okay. So we got to here first. Before anything else, we got here first. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. I didn't need anything else anyway. Take this guy up. Beautiful. Now take out this sucker. Oh, would you look at that shit right there? Shop gives us nothing. Nothing really helpful, unfortunately. So we're going to say goodbye to our shops. So long, shop! So long! And uh, walk into our item room. Where there's nothing useful yet again. Goodbye, item room! So long! Oh, wait. We have a second secret room here. Oh, let's try it out. And it's one of these ones again. We're coming across this one quite a lot, aren't we? Okay, took him out, gave us a nickel. Uh, these sacks, they're giving us way too much here. The moon, judgment. I mean, pop judgment, set it down, blow it up. Probably could have tried to go for mapping. Okay, that was bad. I'll take the moon with me, if that's alright with everybody. And we'll get out of there. 45 cents, we're looking really good in terms of finances, but... Uh, might as well go uh, the long way to avoid having to do combat. There's nothing else up there, so... Yeah, we're out of there. That entire wing of the floor is now done. We're a little blind, boss rush. And with the size of the floor in account now, I'm not sure how I feel about our chances. But we gotta give it a try, right? Like, it's not every day that we're the lost and we get this stacked from the get-go. I know this means I'm playing like garbage, but like, whatever. Okay, there's nothing there. I don't really care about the arcade. Let's get, let's get. Oh good, it's exactly what I wanted. Just a bunch of uh, these assholes. Okay, we killed off a good chunk of them there. And hiding on rocks, by the way, should never be underestimated. Don't be afraid to hide on rocks. Rocks are your friends. Okay, let's not use Mile of the Void here, okay? I, you know, as I said it, I was like, I'm going to let go of this button. And I'm going to use Mob the Void. I will do it. I'll cut off my nose to spite my face. And I'll do it on purpose. Alright, so this broken stopwatch is making this laughably easy now. Which is great. Um, so long as we have access to Holy Mantle. So I think we've got our, our combo here. 
but not enough of a combo yet to guarantee anything past, oh, I don't know, maybe the lamb if we're lucky and somehow get through everything else that we have to get through. You know, like the rest of the game. Uh, if we get up to a point where we can get down to Shoal and win, I'll be impressed. Okay. Oh, come now. Thank you. We're playing this safe because it's easy to do so, and I like being, e you know, I like that being easy to do. Okay, this is bullshit. Thank you for all dying. Except for all you. There you go. Now everybody's dead. Battery. Yeah, we got a battery. Sweet. Gotta remember, we got Krampus' head and Sackboy. Like, just don't forget that, that exists. Because although there's a little bit of backtrack time involved, overall it's a lot quicker. Okay. That could have gone better. But it could have gone a lot worse as well. So, you know, that's fine. We could have died! Remember that one time where we all... Oh my god, why? You know, there's probably a best practice there where you just don't take items you don't need. So that way uh, later on items are earlier on in your follower chain. But whatever! Okay, kill all those guys. Maybe you should drop a bomb here instead of uh, on the Wheel of Fortune. But whatever. Free access to our cursed room and a golden poop! Boys, look, it's a golden poop! Yay! We got money! It's not like we already have 51 cents or something. Okay. Cursed room, useless. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I think that this might this way might just go to the cursed room and that is it. In which case, you know, ha hallelujah, holy shit. Let's not get killed here. Let's just take it easy. Please, I understand. That's been a bit of a day. It's been an exciting day to say the least. But it's it's no reason to get all angry and where is this guy? He's right there, huh? Okay. There you go. He drops a black heart when killed. Awesome. Good to know that the invisible guys are assholes and that they drop black hearts when killed. Was this Agalaz? Might as well pop it here. I don't see a reason why not to. Battery! Okay. Get out of here. Left. Wait, down. Let's see what this is first. Got hit, but it doesn't really matter. Suicide King, a true ending? I, I think I'm good, thanks. Let's go off to the left. Everything died. Battery pack, one battery. Perfect. Next. Judgment, blow it up for a deal with the devil chance. And it comes with red patch. The trinket, sure. Took a chance on hit to... Oh, fuck this room. Okay. Think critically. But where you want your next movement to be, there we go. We did it. One makes you small. Might as well do it once. Any more than that, though, and we're gonna have a we're gonna have an issue. Could you stand up again, please? Thank you. All right, black heart, useless. Item room. Item rooms down here, huh? So we currently have the moon for a teleport card, which is useful. Oh my god! Please, no, please get, get me out of here. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here any longer. I'd like to at least try to get to boss rush. Um, keep going. We found both of the rooms we wanted. Blood of the Martyr, very good with Book of Belial. Very good with Book of Belial, if we can find it. Uh, and then, this is actually one of the rare times, so this is going to be very helpful. Uh, so one makes you small pill, a speed up, very good. Uh, that's a question marks pill, that's a telepills, and that's one makes you small. You know what, I think I'm going to take the telepills with me. Um, we're gonna keep Krampus's head because we need the offense more than I need a Diplopia play. Key for a bomb and a key? Okay, nothing wrong with that. Got a battery charge. And here's the Monster 2 fight. Here's me not giving a shit about it. Half of it's already done. It's beautiful. We even had a champion inside the fight that dropped a child guy. That was dumb. Why did I do that? Good. He died. That's all that really matters. Very strange moment, though. Okay, this should not be Krampus. We already faced him once. It's Brother Bobby and Book of Belial. I mean, do we take the Book of Belial at this point? I mean, I, how often do I get to have Blood of the Martyr and Book of Belial, right? Not the right move, naturally. But at least at this point, this means I can use this on every room. Pretty much guaranteed. And if it doesn't work out every room, then I'll be damn close. Um, this is not the room I wanted. Not even close. Yay! Rainbows! Okay. Bombs are nice and all, but I don't need them that much. Let's get out of here. Okay, shoot some stuff in the face. Again, it's not too difficult to do. It's not so hard if you try. Shoot them in the face. 
Okay, where's this guy at, though? Ah, there he goes. Anybody else? No? Okay, great. No sacks? A pill? Infested? Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're not gonna make it to boss rush, is my feeling here. As much as I'd love to make it to boss rush, I don't think that's happening. So, you know what? Take it easy. Slow down. Relax. You didn't go fast enough, you salty Sue and Sue. Okay, you got so much money. If greed ends up being in the shop, by the way, I might actually flip my gourd. Um, might as well see. Is this a teleport card? The sun. It is not. Um, where is everything then? So the boss is more down south. The shop and the item room are left of here. So that's where we're going to go. And yeah, we're past boss rush now. There's no way that we can do that. So our best option for getting rid of post-it note stuff now is by... Yeah, the callus is useless. Uh, is by going and making sure that we've got... Look at all these spiders. Look at all the spiders. The spiders are the worst. Spiders are the worst. Why do the spiders exist when there are so many? Because fistulas spawn spiders somehow. Okay. There we go. Okay. That, that's that's pretty wonderful. I'm a little sad we didn't move faster, but speed in this game will come with uh, getting better at it, right? So we'll get there eventually. Uh, black candle, very good. High mine, very good. Red card, two of clubs, which you might as well. Uh, and if I remember correctly, that red pill is more or less useless. So we out of there anyway. And this run's turning out okay. This run has so far not turned out badly, and that's all that really matters to me. Does this run turn out okay? If yes, then sweet. You know what? Actually, let's take the magician card. I'm I'm feeling sassy. Okay, there we go. Book of Belial's ready to go again, and we got a battery charge. Shit, we just wasted that a good two seconds too early. Okay, now we're good to go. Yeah, we do a ton of extra damage with this. This this setup is okay. It's just a matter of making it work effectively and without um, causing too many issues in the long run you know but tech Axe is a game winner for sure i i don't know why a lot of uh, people say it isn't because it, it feels like it certainly is 99 bombs huh zoop 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 like coupled with the loss that allows you to just kind of sit back and enjoy life I mean, look at this zoop zoop where once there was a chubby alas there is no more because the chubby ate too many lasers, and then the bodies hit the floor. Okay. Get in here. Mom. Hey, Mom. Now, I know that we don't have a battery for you. We don't have a charge of Book of Belial for you. But I'll tell you what we do have. We've got a sack of hopes and the will to live. That's all that matters. Just don't get killed here. Like, I just re remembered we can get hit twice, and that's it. We are playing the Lost. Like that is that is worth mentioning several times to myself. We can only get hit twice. Do not get hit more than once. Okay, did good. You didn't get hit more than once. No deal with the devil either, which makes me a little sad. But like you know, there's options later on down the line. Let's go. Uh, and I also realized we missed out on a second secret room, but uh, I don't care. I mean, maybe I would have cared if it was like, oh look at the entire guppy transformation inside of the secret room. Hey, don't you wish you had that? But. Oh, fuck. Please leave me alone. You did. Thank you. Alright, we got massive super spiders. Now, if we ever find Guppy's head, that would actually be worth picking up at this point. Like, Guppy's head with Hive Mind would be stellar. It's just not likely to happen. Please, thank you. Who's next? Who dares defy my lost, overpowered, my super powered, over, overpowered, unbelievably dumb lost run? Okay. Now, the other thing that I really like about this run, by the way, is... Fartoon, really? The other thing I really like about this run right now is that every time we get hit, we know. Right? It's not like it's going to sneak up on us that we don't know. Because we have access to uh, the stopwatch. And the stopwatch not being broken means that we know exactly when we get hit. Because the entire level goes into incredibly slow. Credit card. Charge it. I don't know what I would charge at this point anymore. But okay, I've got it. Well, this is shit room to be stuck on. Okay, well, we got hit. Don't get hit a second time, but this ought to be easy enough. Keep forgetting that we have, like, actually one of the best defensive items for the Lost in existence. 
the Joker. Here we go. All right, so ideally we don't get to deal with the devil on this floor. And we can use this Joker to kind of steal one for, for free. Get deals for nothing and chicks for free. What's down south? Let's find out by going there. All right, so we explored literally every dead end possible. It's a good thing that we don't have the Fartoom trinket on us, because if we did, uh, we would have literally exploded everything all over the place, and there would be a high chance that spikes would have gone in my face. It's this red card. Another Joker. You know, at this point, I might as well just pop it, because we're guaranteed to get it anyway. And at least this way, I get it out of the way. Leviathan does nothing for us. Um, but hey, it looks cool. Now we got tentacles. Like, we're super evil now, and that's kind of like what you want to do is the lost. Get that super evil deal with the devil business going. Okay. Power at what cost? No cost, because I am the lost. There is no cost for the lost. The lost is a lost cause. He just does deals with the devil for fun. And, and uh, you know, he hangs out with Satan every once in a while. Just kind of goes, hey, Satan. And then Satan's all like, yeah, lost. And then uh, the lost is like, you want to hang out for a little bit? And he's all like, sure, lost. Why not? What could possibly go wrong? Well... He's done that enough times now that we can easily go down to Shoal. And when he tries to collect, when he's like, Hey, Lost, remember that time that I gave you all that stuff and you are supposed to pay me back? And then I was like, uh-huh. And then he's all like, yeah, well, I want it back now. I'm going to go ahead and take your life for it. And then you're like, uh, yeah, no way. That'd be pretty sweet. Didn't we take the Polaroid? We did take the Polaroid. We're fucking idiots. Okay. So we're not, we're, we're just going to have a fun run with this one. We're just going to play the Lost, to play the Lost, apparently. Um, because I'm an idiot and went for the Polaroid instead of, Picking up what I wanted. Uh, I mean, I could go for a post-it. At least I could get an unlock by going down to Shoal. And considering how long this episode already is, maybe that'll be best on everybody's palette, you know? Just two diamonds. Might as well fucking pop it now. It's not like it matters at all. Um, that might be best for everybody. Because at that point, I could just be like, hey, you know what? Let's make this a shorter run. Because then we don't have to go through uh, Shoal and then the lamb and all that stuff. We just go through Shoal and that's it. But, uh, you know what? No, this is bad. We might just die here. As I'm saying, hey, you know, remember the guaranteed, the way that we're talking about this thing, like it's a guaranteed thing? Yeah, don't don't forget, you are the fucking lost, you maroon. If you're about to get hit, pop the Joker card again. Uh, waste it, you know, entirely on things that don't matter, and uh, see how that treats you. Okay, we didn't die. Nice. Good change of pace, honestly. Head over this way, and hey, look, it's a brain. It's a brain, it's a brain, it's a brain, brain, brain. Those are brains, those are brains, those are brain, brain, brains. Now they're dead. Ha ha ha. Give me a small rock. Or a chest. Give me something good. It's like money, keys, a red card, which we probably don't care about. Yeah. We are stacked in terms of consumables. Game, I, I appreciate the consumable game that you've given us here today. But at the same time, you gotta understand, this is getting a little ridiculous, don't you think? Okay, what do we got here? Card, the sun. You know, the sun would be good. Oh, if it wasn't for the fact that we already had the devil. Oh, shit. Where is this guy? There he is. Hello. Oh, God, we got hit. Please kill him. Thank you. That was almost very bad. Now, we have no chance of losing HP on this one. Just a chance of losing out on, you know, damage and a whole bunch of other stuff. Not sure I want to pick that up, to be honest with you. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to avoid picking it up. I know that most of the time, experimental treatment is a positive. But considering that we have like next to no chance of picking up Spun, it doesn't have that potential payoff. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't have that ability to hey, say, hey, um... Remember when... Are you a wizard? Was a good pill? Oh, yeah, I remember! Okay. Literally useless. All right, do we actually do this room? I mean, we might as well. We got the Book of Belial with an extra battery charge to make sure that we don't lose out on it. And just as long as we keep tossing out these things, there's no real reason for us not to just enjoy the shit out of this moment. Like where we have complete and total overpoweredness over any and all things that are just way too small to understand what's gonna to happen to their face when they walk into our circles of lasers. Okay, good, we made it this far. Fate does actually nothing other than give us wings. And it doesn't even do that justice. Oh good. More consumables we don't need. I'm thrilled by that, but let's let's move along if you don't mind. Okay, this room is arguably one of the tougher rooms in the game. I hate it. 
I'm glad that it's a dead end, so we don't have to ever go through it again. But, you know, that's the thing. It could happen a second time on the run, though. Could you imagine having to go through that room twice? It has happened. It will happen again. In fact, I guarantee you that if you play this game enough, you'll see, like, some floors where it's three of the same room and over and over and over again. It's like three of the same complicated room. Maybe. Maybe not. There's probably, like, a, a statistic somewhere in the code which is just like, hey, you know, uh, this room, it's real tough. You might only putting it in, uh, once a floor. Okay. That's a pills card. And that's a full health. Pill. Does nothing. Um... Question mark pills, by the way. I don't know why they're considered good. They shouldn't be. We do have PhD. Like, I know what's a good pill and what's not. Like, don't... Don't tell me that I don't know. I went to Harvard Medical School to get this doc... To get this ridiculous... I went to Harvard Medical School to get this doctorate. I don't know why you think that I think that the question mark pill is a good pill. I know very well that it's effective, uh... Medicative properties is effectively just getting your shit wrecked. Why would you ever consider this a good pill? Okay, that's a, it's an eternal heart. It's about as helpful as uh, getting my dick chopped off by 10% for uh, no, for nothing, actually. Okay, let's just cool it on the Northern Lion memes for a minute. Because I watch way too much of the guy. I gotta admit, like, with YouTube's algorithm effectively saying, Hey, we want these people to watch... The, all the, all this YouTube, the same way that people watch Netflix, which means to say, you know, all the time. Um, yeah, yeah, Northern Lion has probably made a killing off of me alone. I've got to be honest. Like, I've just, I have probably single-handedly kept his entire YouTube channel afloat by watching every single Isaac episode, Roller Coaster Planet, and all of the, uh, the new Hearthstone things that he's doing. I also watch the majority of his streams that he posts up on YouTube. Like, I don't, he's just, I like listening to the man. And he's always got, like, he's not always got something funny. It's not like everything he says is a stitch. But at the same time, it is nice to just kind of listen to a man, you know, go on for a little bit. Just go on. And talk. And laugh with his friends. Like I used to have. Okay, let's take this out. Shit, we got hit once. Don't get hit again. Shoot, 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 killer. Thank you, Broken Stopwatch. So we earned our deal with the devil. We're gonna take it, because who knows, maybe we'll, uh, we'll pick up what it's called. Conjoined. Because wouldn't that be funny? I think that'd be hilarious! Conjoined is my favorite! Okay. Battery says that we can go upstairs. So, you know what, we're gonna have a fun run with this one. Screw Shoal. I don't care if it's worth the post-it. I'd rather go through the full run. I want to see the chest. I want to see if we can make it that far. And like the Keeper, you know what? If we don't make it all the way because death comes for us all, that's okay if I buy me as well. Now, if we get in trouble, don't be afraid to just pop the Joker card. It's not like it's going to cost you a damn thing. Justice does not come with a battery, I'm beginning to realize, which makes justice effectively useless. Is it just us? Or is justice just useless? Okay, that's the end of the Gertie Jr. That was easy enough. Into the... Oh god, it's Curse of the Tower. You know what? I... I should not do this. But I'm going to, because I'm an idiot. If we get hit, then we have ample time to deal with troll bombs. By, uh, just, you know, getting out of the way. Thanks to Broken Stopwatch, they should explode a little slower. And then they, they actually get to deal damage to our enemies, right? That's that's the point of Curse of the Tower, is that's a double-edged sword. And a double-edged sword that might be worth trying once in a while. God damn it. All I want is Cricket's head, man. Cricket's head would be pretty sweet. Head of the Keeper would be pretty funny, although more or less useless. Okay, we got our uh, secret room here, and it's more golden poop! Oh boy! Look at all this money I don't want to use, or can't use more accurately. We ever get... You know, something useful. Sorry, something that makes our money useful again? That'd be nice. Okay, it's a uh, small rock. I can smell it. I'm a... I, see, I told you I could smell it. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Because I currently can. <laughs> okay, take these, uh, take these little bastards out. There we go. Okay. Get a battery out of one of these. And no, no battery, huh? Two clubs, that's useful. Okay, and here we find it's a gold chest. Now, I realize 
that our damage without the Book of Belial charge is actually pretty minimal. Uh, which is French for minable, which is actually just kind of bad. Hourglass, it's actually just not useful at all, so we're going to get rid of it entirely. Hold on to our Joker card just on, just on, you know? Take this shit out, perfect. Okay, and one last one. Hey, buddy, you think you're cool? You think you're hip? Yeah, I don't think so. There we go. Okay, worms are dead. Death is, uh, you know, upon us. I guess we'll take it for now. Okay, you know what? This would have been the room to have the Joker card on, just in case. Like, actually, this was a dumb move to pop and use death in here. Okay, hi. You mind, uh... Thank you. Monster 2 ain't so bad when you got, like, super damaging, uh... Tech X tiers from across the map. It's really nice. The stars? I mean, it's a teleport card. But it's not the Joker. I'm feeling so lazy. No, we're gonna, we're gonna hold on to the Joker until the end of the floor. If we can hold on to the Joker until the end of the floor, then that guarantees that we've got something going on. Ooh. Okay, we got hit. Bad. Also, Curse of the Tower does not go off. So Curse of the Tower actually does nothing when you're the Lost. Not a goddamn thing. Good to know. Okay, so down he went. We got Flat Penny, which is about as useful as, uh, again, get my dick chopped off. Because I'm the boss. I'm the lost. Yeah, how's that for a fucking referential, uh... How's that for a goddamn reference? Referencing fucking Lonely Islands, like... You know... Probably... I don't know. I'd say one of their top three, like, stupid songs. For sure. It's, instead of I'm the boss. I'm the loust. Float on rocks like the loust. Shoot, shoot through them like the loust. Get shot like the lost. Swallow sadness like the lost. Get shot again like the lost. Now I'm dead like the lost. So, um, at some point in there, did you chop off your own dick? No, that ain't me. You sure? Because you don't have a dick. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm the lost. Yeah, I heard like the first time. I'm the lost. Yeah, I got it. I'm the lost. I'm the lost. You know, that kind of thing. Um, we're putting our money to use here. This has taken a decent degree of time. Like, I would like this to, to turn into some trinkets in the near future. Because, you know, taking my medicine? I'm a doctor, damn it! I'm a doctor! Don't tell me what to do! I already know what to do! Oh, good. We got two cards and another trinket. Two other trinkets, you know, not all that helpful. Um, granted... It's a probably about as helpful as our current trinket, which has done us nothing because we need to take damage, I think, for Red Patch to be anywhere useful. Holy. What is the easiest way to lose all your money in this machine? How do we do it so quickly? Well, that's actually a reasonable trinket. We can pick that up for now. If we get hit, we're invincible for twice as long. So, that's fine. Gives us a chance, anyway. Oh, ho, ho. Just a little bit more, guys. We've made it this far in the vending machine from hell. I am Zolta. Feed me money. Watch as cards pour forth. Lazy worm. You will never be forgiven. Only a sinner. Do not cry over spilled tears. Blame nobody but yourself. You were born wrong. Who is this character? It's the vending machine. He's being a fucking dickweed and not giving me a goddamn thing. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Troll bombs, obviously. Uh, temperance. About as helpful as getting my dick chopped off. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.